all that out the way. You know what I'm saying? What they say, well, we paid the bills. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit out the way. Um, well, well, how your week been, man? What you, what you been going into? You been checking out these Olympics? Man, first off, appreciate the blunt nigga needed it. Oh, man, you know that, man. <laughs> Second yeah. off, yeah, the Olympics. Know, so what they say, that, that come with it on the shorty. <laughs> shit, I come with it, but say you all right know how today a hectic ass day. It's a lot going on in this city. We got a lot, lot going I'm sure on. Sure, there's bus picks on TV. We got all type of news to talk about. But yeah, I've been definitely been following the Olympics. They yeah, it's 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 it's. I don't feel like they be pushing that shit the same way they used to when we was younger. I don't know. I think I don't know. It's cool though. It definitely Maybe got it's athletes because I've been looking for it. So I don't. I don't. I've been looking I for know. it too. I'll be looking for. I just go straight on YouTube and go straight to what I'm. I'm looking for. I've been watching a lot of basketball though. South Sudan been hooping. Yeah, let's talk about that, shorty. Shout out South Sudan. South they got Sudan my. Been they hooping. got my respect. You know they just lost. Oh, shorty. Hey, they got my respect. Oh, shorty. But they I been. I didn't stop. I didn't doubt them that much, but that's what Olympics is. You know what I'm saying? This shit only come around what once every four years or yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I don't know. You know, Japan was they in FIBA play? Did I don't even FIBA? think so. I don't think so. They got some killers on their team for shit. Yeah. So they got like a they got like this dude who they say play just like KD. Mm -hmm. Like a do, KD you, do, you, do you have you ever went on YouTube and watch how they practice? Nah, I ain't watch how they practice. These niggas practice on dirt courts nigga i'll be seeing that on the ground with with that's what i'm talking about with like <laughs> basketballs bandaged up yeah and shit, shorty and yeah. That, that's how they practice tires bro beat down tires <laughs> and pads dragging tires and shit like they curt is literally dirt you see that's why i respect them boys because what's the name they used to play for the bulls shout out little old dang mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying he's doing some big things out there you know what i'm saying i heard that he building like a gym yeah. you know he he building a he first gym they whole olympic he probably had, shit. Shit. that's respect that's big ups you know how much, like, how much you gotta love your country to do that type of shit. Cause for he had came out because, and I'm gonna get your opinion on this. You know what I'm saying? With you being African and shit, so Ghana, yeah, yep. Gilbert Arenas and um a couple of other former NBA players came out, and what some would say were like, um, kind of like slights towards South Sudan. Like, man, them niggas out there trying to get into the league, but Lou Aldang had came out with a with a statement, like, you know what I'm saying, like. He he used to that type of shit, but he didn't expect it to come from his former colleagues, like players he looked up to. Yeah. Do you think like motherfuckers take that shit like too much of a joke, like not knowing where they come from, or do people need to be, or do South Sudan just need to understand like that's just how the world the world is? Like they take that's everything like as a joke. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, it's a Gilbert a clown though. You gotta know, like you gotta you know KYP know your personnel. Gilbert a clown though, so you know he cracking he cracking hood jokes. He talk about like how we talk about it on the block. He know they going through shit. He know that that it's a third world country, but he still <laughs> he still popping his shit. He said some goof ass shit. He said something about some niggas. We almost lost to some niggas that that don't even have shoes or I'm something sure like they that. Don't shorty. It's true, but. On oh, shorty, you niggas who didn't have no shoes, then uh, almost got us, at, got our ass up out of there. The brand had to come say the day. Oh, shorty, uh, th this is what Olympics is for, though. It shows y'all, it shows people that they're like people, in, not just in America, but people mm -hmm. all over the world, what other countries have to offer, comp you know, competition wise on the athletic side of things. So it's, mm -hmm. that's what make Olympics fun. Because at the end of the day, I don't even think we be rooting when we watch Olympics. We don't even be rooting for no specific person unless they black or something. But we don't even be rooting for no specific I, country or none I, of that. I, we I just want to see good shit. American. For real. Always I mean, respect. I just be wanting to see good, especially like, if you black. I want to see good too. If you I'm black, I want you to win. I'm always rooting for American. You know what I'm saying? But you know. Mm -mm. So so let me ask you this as a hooper, you know what I'm saying? Another thing that's been going around, you know what I'm saying, the the Olympics basketball, I've heard, I don't know if you heard it, but a couple of people been saying shit like um we shouldn't send NBA players over there like that's overdoing it, you know what I'm saying? Like we should send college they players said that's and retired players over there. Like what what you think about that? You think sending NBA players over there cheating cuz they players other countries? Yeah, to, you know, nah, they represent their homeland. Like, we send no, when we send when we send from the USA, when we send a team, they saying we should send college players instead of NBA cuz it's is too unfair. No, hell no. Cuz they sending they not sending their university players and overseas. They don't even call college college. They call that shit university. I'm sure. Yeah, so they not sending their university play. They some of them is, but like, you know, you had the Lucas, like Luka been playing pro and shit like that. Like Lucas the is I'm sure. But every country don't got, you know what I'm saying? Like every they country not, don't they got not, it. They don't they not putting them young niggas on. Do you think that they're making more competitive? 
if we did it like that. But see, look, they have that though already. They got yeah. 18U. They got 17U sport. Like, go look at the us, USA. Go a lot of their FIBA players, they a lot of yeah, Go look at the USA 16U team. Mm -hmm. Hey, where I was here, I got a, um, it's a girl that goes to the school I transferred to in Texas after I won a state championship. Uh, her last name Flemings. I forgot her first name because I played with her brother. Her brother played varsity. Yeah. But she's on the Olympic, like, on, uh, U16 basketball women's team type yeah. shit. Do you think that'd make it more competitive though if we sent like the 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 prospects over there instead of? To me, it's like okay, y'all y'all want to lose to our grown niggas? <laughs> you want to lose to our young niggas? <laughs> Cause our young I don't niggas, know, shorty. I don't know. Our young they niggas. They could try it out. They, they could try it out. Maybe out that South Sudan game. I'm all for them trying it out. I'm all for them, like yeah. for one year or like ex what they call it, exhibition game. Yeah. Like yeah, throw the eighteen, throw the, throw the high schoolers and the college kids out there. I, I wouldn't say high school and college. I say college and former players on shorty. Yeah, I you could see. do that. You could like see, that's can, gonna be an interesting blend. See LeBron being in the Olympics again four years from now, even though he probably retired out the league type shit. I'm sure. For shit, so that would be raw as hell. I'm sure. Because he still got it. Like he literally yeah. still got it. Four years, you can't tell me LeBron for the sure. breakdown like an old caddy. Right. He can't <laughs> just for for eight games, I'm sure. Just for eight games, I'm sure. So so yeah, it's definitely exciting. Before we move on from the Olympics, any other sports that you that you uh interested in? I like to watch like the like the, the different shit, like the yeah the shooting competitions and the archery. And when they be rubbing the archery, when they like, rubbing the the ice like the shit. robo shit, the kayak and shit, cause they be fast. That's some other. <laughs> yeah, Olympic, like I said, Olympics cool because it just shows you like there's more the to the world. The wrestling, yeah, the boxing, the gymnastics. I ain't gonna lie, gymnastics, gymnastics. is top three for me. Every but I like. I like, I be cool on them when they be like dancing and doing flips. I like when they be on the bars, on the double you like bars the, the and bar shit. Where they, they go crazy. So you don't, you prefer that over when they do the mat, like the mat yeah, performance yeah. where they running to the music the and flips flipping. flips is cool, but all that other shit, the dancing shit. I heard, cool shout out to Simone Biles. I heard she did some Yeah, they shit. said, I watched With the hurt, they like, said one of them flips she did off, off the flip, off feet, nigga, was like 12 feet. They like show her next to Wimby and was like, the she height. She, she could jump over. Actually, jump over Wimby. That's so very shorty. Hey, gotta feet. love our melanin queens. Don't so grab her. I wonder if she can dunk, shorty. <clears throat> she probably could. I'm telling you, athletes like they be certain athletes are raw as hell in sports that they not known for because mm -hmm. of the, the skills and the certain uh but if you got ups like that i'll just figure on shorty you, i know you i'm gonna see her play volleyball fuck that basketball i'm gonna see her spike that <laughs> but yeah with just all them goals shorty she she go to forever on shorty oh right, yeah for sure we got yeah she got our she got our love for for sure so all right ben had it yeah for sure so so when when you um when you participating you know what i'm saying and, and, and yo, cause you a hooper yourself, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to play for Ghana, U.S. Uh, Ghana national that's, team. That's what I was gonna ask you. Like, do shit like that motivate you when you see? Yeah. Like, do you do? Does Ghana does Ghana have a national team? I don't think we have a national basketball team. We don't have a national. We have soccer. We know for soccer, like football. We like we know for that shit. But nah, I definitely like. I swear, to, but life's the world changes so fast. Like they could throw a team together. I'm sure, like, cause Ghana threw a team together. I'm sure. yeah. I want to say I'm gonna do my but Lou all day. I want to say if it nah. weren't for Lou all day, they probably wouldn't have no team. Yeah, team nah, team. I ain't gonna lie. If Ghana have it. That'd be like crazy. Cause I do got like my artist, uh, Kamati. Remember mm -hmm. we interviewed? Yeah, he want. He like, man, you should play out here. Like you should, rep you should play out here. Like for real. Like he be sure. telling me that shit. Like try to really get me to believe that shit. Hell yeah, shit. They let J Cole go out there and <laughs> score four points a game on sure. Or Wanda or the, wherever he was. <laughs> In Madagascar, oh sure. Yeah, but you, yeah. you, you probably could, you know, what I'm saying, go overseas and hoop. Show. I'm gonna go overseas and hoop regardless. But to def to be able to represent my country, like yeah. have my last name on the back of that yeah. jersey, that's like, go, that's go shit. Oh, sure. it's here. I'm passing sure. jerseys to you, Granny. Put this John up on the in the frame, like yeah, it's go say I you cool me on the back. What you uh, what you feel about um, damn, oh sure. I'm telling you, you never know what's gonna happen. I got connects all over. I'm sure, but all I gotta do is prove myself when that time comes. They say, hey, yeah, pop up in Colorado for 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 training. Let's see what you got. All right, I'm sure. Only getting better. So, like, have you ever? Cause I know, like, don't like the semi pro do like open tryouts and like the Bulls. They ever did? You ever participate mm -hmm. in some shit like that before? Nah, cause they be taxing like two, three hundred a tryout unless you know motherfuckers. And like I told you, like I be telling you, motherfuckers try to act like they don't know me. And so you gotta pay that, shorty. 
Now I need look. I'm telling you, you gotta pay that. Shit. I do. I should. I be putting my money to other shit. You know what I'm saying? These are left from. I be telling niggas. I was just telling niggas up there all the, the other day. They talking about basketball tournament. I put that. I put that bread up. I said I got a hooper for you. See, they be scared. They be duck. Like now, I'm at the point in my life where like I'm a real hooper. I'm not just. I'm not a local gym hooper. So I go into local gyms and they look at me as if I'm God, but they don't want to give me that type of respect. So they they the first thing they always say is, "You in the same place I am." You ain't all that. Mm. So, like, they be too scared to play me. They talk all that shit, but be too scared to play me. One-on-one for bread, ex- like, the shit that matters. The real hoopers are never here because it's always season. It's always, they always in season. Or even when you play college, if I was in college right now still, mm-hmm. I would have been at my school doing summer training, even right. though school ain't started because that's just how I go. So like yeah, it'd be hard to find. It'd be hard to find like the right motherfuckers. The streets got on though, but like yeah, somebody somebody ain't going. So tell. so what's what's the most kind of average game you play? Is it is it, y'all be running five on five, three on three? Is like what's up? Fives. Look, so when I get invited to gyms, like I be telling you to come and record that and shit like that. It's fives. It's always mm-hmm. it's always full runs. It's just that the competition be better. It be it be real hoopers. It be people with resumes like me. So it's like it always amps it up. And then ten times out of ten, you you may know some motherfuckers, and and it's definitely gonna be motherfuckers you don't know so it just keeps the challenge like like right there you know what i'm saying they taught me first impression is key so it's just like I, it's just a good opportunity i see that's an opportunity to test yourself as a hooper going there bust niggas ass you don't know show the niggas who do know you already like you ain't lost no step you know what i'm saying and then work on your game challenge yourself however you've been challenging yourself if you All got right. that type of mentality All right, let me ask you this motherfucker ever fucked you up on the court nah i ain't gonna bow I ain't had no bad experiences. And look, I say this though. I ain't gonna act like every nigga I play is pooty. Hell no. Cause I play good niggas. But the thing about me Please is leave a comment if y'all feel like that's Yeah, cap. if you feel like that's cap, let me know. We could we could work it out. So we but gonna, we gonna set I it say up. this. Even when I'm playing good niggas who are scoring, I always like I trade buckets. So it's a real show. Like people call call me entertaining to watch because even if I'm playing somebody good who's proving they shit. I'm proving my shit too. Like they score, I come down to score. Mm-hmm. They come down to score. The whole gym be turned. Then it's like, okay, don't need give them the ball. Don't even like, don't even touch that motherfucker. Like, yeah, it be, I be having moments like that in a lot of gyms, and they don't even be getting caught on camera. A lot of the times, ninety percent of my shit is not on camera. The ten percent that you have seen, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like luckily somebody in there had a camera and I got the shit. Cause I don't that's, be having people with me. I be solo. That's what I was gonna ask you. What what's your, what's your, what's your, what you feel about Pat Bev? You know what I'm saying? Signing in Israel. Do you feel like he had to? You feel like he was done in the league after where he ended the season? Or I don't know. Shit. Maybe he could get a contract. I don't know that man. Like he that. said, they made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Oh, if they made him out, yeah, he from here, right? Yeah, he from here. Yeah, it's all right. Get the money, nigga. Fuck. But like, you know, shit, he's still hooping. That's all that matters because there's a lot of niggas who I feel like should be mm-hmm. hooping still that just acting like they can't get no opportunities like Melo. Melo swear that. He been, he been gone too long. Too long. Too long, too long it's now. Been like, I, it's been like three, four years now. It's been like now. three years, I'm sure. Yeah. That it's nigga been, been too long now. That's the way. Sure. I, want, I been wanting to I see that. I definitely want to get him one. I want to see him get one. You talking about LeBron being in the Olympics even after retiring. He could have did that shit. But you know, Melo, Melo, Melo rest on his laurels, I'm sure. He he an NCAA champion. He a gold medalist, you know what I'm saying? With the New York way, that nigga. He done got $300 million contracts in the NBA. His legacy. He just I'm sure. He, he just, you know, he just missing the championship, you know what I'm saying? So... Mm. How, how you feel about that? Do you feel like you can rest on the on the? Because technically he's still a Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? He got he got gold. He got an NCAA champion. He just don't got that in, that NBA championship. So fuck, he's still raw to me. Like he hood. We talking about hood legends. Do you when we get older and they say who was like? Do like, you think that affect his legacy though? That not having the NBA championship, man, you don't got no championship. But it don't make it don't make you pooty. Like it's a league of thirty two teams, and you in that bitch for like <sighs> ten. He was. He I feel like Charles Barkley was overrated though. I feel like he overrated. That's before my time. It's before my time. You see, like too, a character. Just... Like to me as a youngin, like. I see the dominance that he probably had back then, but like, I, I, if he's if he was the same character that he kind of is now, now I see why. He I'm gonna do some more research. I just feel like he was overrated. And the way I hear like Gilbert Arenas talk about him and shit, and I'm gonna do some more research on my own. I just they be ch- they, be, just, they be calling nobody Charles really Fuka. ever got nothing good to say about him. Like you don't ever hear like the sports commentator like he remind me of Charles Barkley. I ain't gonna like, lie, you never hear no the two shit worst like niggas that are commentators. Like you said, you feel like that about Charles Barkley. I feel like that about Paul Pierce. 
But Paul Pierce, Paul Pierce wild. be drunk. He was <laughs> wild, but he be talking Carl crazy. Pierce, Cause he be that. drunk. He be wild as hell. He be saying LeBron sucked. Then the next week he wild. Can't nobody sure. fuck with him. You know he just mad because what LeBron did to him. He fucked him up. Like I'm sure, as a shorty, you right. can't back stop this little myself. nigga on short. I remember watching it myself back when that shit was happening. LeBron, I'm like, man, why LeBron play like this against the Celtics? Like yeah. he was fucking them up. The trio on shorty. <laughs> but since, but since. Gilbert Arenas podcast came out. I don't even watch like ESPN no more, shorty. Yeah, I don't watch ESPN. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas really stopped watch. watching ESPN watch about take. five years ago. No, I used to watch First Take yeah, that up to like a year ago, shorty. Well, then they quit that, right? On shorty. No, nah, not until I found Gilbert Arenas shit. On shorty. Because them niggas be real raw, uncut with that shit. I and they form a I tell you who I watch. All the smoke. I trust they were more than I trust. You watch All the Smoke with Matt Barnes and Steve Jackson? I've seen episodes. But that's a know, good. That's you know, like Gil, his shit, shit like daily, so so it's like easy to catch that yeah. shit. There, See, yeah, I'd have smoke only like once every two weeks. Sure. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, Gil doing something with that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's raw. Then it's like zero. the the people he bring through there, like Brandon Jennings. I fuck with Brandon Jennings. Like he was one of my yeah. players. I used to play with on the game all the time when he yeah. first came out. The I mean, he came out like around the same time. Like it's cool Rudy to see how rowdy, like how cool, like why you, you fuck with certain oh, players. Sure. Like, Brandon Jennings a cool ass nigga. Like Kenny Martin, yeah, sure. cooler than I thought he was. Or further, he be like real deal on some little brother shit type, like. Spilling <laughs> stories and info about his like and, locker room shit. And Kenny Martin, he was like a motherfucker that I like, you know what I'm saying? See, on the court. So if you like Kenny Martin, I'm telling you, watch All the Smoke. Cause you like I said, the host of All the Smoke is Matt Barnes and um Steven Jackson. Mm. Them like the most two valid. Yeah, I fuck with Steven Jackson. Yeah. I be seeing like he be he be real outspoken and shit on that. Exactly. He had came at Stephen A. a couple That's what he be letting his rocks off on, on, sure. that, on all the smoke. I fuck with that. He was in the O and shit on sure. They had Kenyon on there. They be, they be have, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta watch that shit. Yeah, I'm sure. But you know, Ken, he's like a regular host on um on uh Gill shit. On Gil yeah. Brennan. Yeah, it's he, him. See, but he got that practice with all the smoke. It's him, I'm Brandon taking. Jennings, uh Kenya Martin. Uh, what's uh Rashad McCants? I'm sure that nigga funny as hell. I'm sure the deep love. That's a they, deep love they, couch. They funny as hell. Then they be having guests come through that bitch. They, uh, Rich Paul be coming through that bitch. Hey, I'm just sure. a shit. Oh uh, yeah. I'm sure. I, I, uh, I gotta watch that like deeper. Yeah, they, it's decent. I'm sure I fuck with them. But uh, ever since that shit come out, it's like it's hard to watch ESPN when I can have a nigga tell me that shit raw, uncut. Cuss words, and he might even know the nigga for real, and give me like a real story on this nigga on sure the type shit on sure like he he be like like when I came in the league type shit, and John Wall was that type shit, and he was how he was slowly fake because I remember when Agent Zero was he was pulling off from thirty, he was the first nigga I seen pulling off from thirty pulling for real. thirty for real on shorty. He was the first person I seen, <laughs> and they stay busting the Bulls ass on shorty because I remember Bulls Wizards tickets like the cheapest tickets you can ever. I probably been to Bulls Wizards game probably like over ten times on shorty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Earth cheap>. <laughs> All the talent though. Oh sure. I've been to a boy one time right ten times. My pops used to get stand up tickets on shorty. We used to be in that bitch strolling all the way to the top, all type of shit. Shit, days. So no. But but what, what, what now? Uh, we shit. We can we can get into the music, man. What you what you be listening to on the music? What what they been on? Um, it's a lot of young niggas going what's, crazy. What's what's been popping on the music side? On the music, let me see. You know how music is. You never know what the fuck you listen to. To you when when you when you doing an event, do you gotta like do new shit? Like, do you have to do mm -hmm. new shit? Hell no. Nah. Okay. <clears throat> Cause look, ain't nobody ever gonna be mad. Like you ain't playing no new shit. Like they don't work like that. Mm -hmm. If anything, that'd be mad. You ain't play no old shit, no classics, no, no shit that they listen to at home when they mama house or something. Is is taking requests mandatory? Mm -mm. Depends what type of event it is, and it depends. Cause like shit, the way my parties be juking, it's not enough like space for you to be coming. Like I can't hear you. <laughs> like it's not, it's not that type of like. But if it's something smooth, like this mm -hmm. ribbon cutting event. I'm still not taking requests at that. Mm -hmm. But uh like I don't know if you if your mama or somebody invite you know, hire me for like a, a baby shower or something like that. Okay, yeah, you got requests like some y'all trying to plan some shit out or like do some TikTok dances, like I got y'all. Like So that might be what DJ DJs probably just don't like taking requests, shorty. Cause I was at this bar in, in downtown Forest Park that the DJ suck ass, shorty. Like I go to the man, I'm like, Joe, can you play? I tell the man just like that. I say, Can you play one little dirk song? The man tell me, hold on, I got to see if I got that. 
I say, what you oh, mean? You gotta see if you red got flag. That. He ain't that type of DJ. Hey, I mean, what you mean? You gotta see. What you, you supposed to just have that? Just one. Yeah, on EDM shorty. DJ on shorty. I'm just like after that, I'm like, Yo, I should DJ on shorty. Yeah, EDM DJ. He ain't got DJ. that. So, have you ever been somewhere? Somebody like, hey, can you play this? And you ain't have it. Yeah. Yeah, I tell him. I'll be straight up. I'm like, I ain't got that. I'll be like, I ain't got that. I, I got to download it. It's going to fuck up the music if I have to download it and spin it sent to me. <laughs> Do you be flashing or that's, or that's true? It's true. Oh, it's true. I hear that. I'm, when I, like, I go into the sets with certain music. It's mm-hmm. not a, it's not, it's not no fucking open Bluetooth. So, like, you, so you're not an Apple nobody music hire DJ? Me. Yeah, don't nobody hire me to take people requests all night. I'm sure. I was at I was at a prom on <laughs> shorty. I was at a prom, my man's on shorty. He's my homie on shorty. Shout out DJ Milk. <laughs> we at the event, shorty. My man's he DJing off the uh, Apple Music. And his shit not logging in. You gotta do what you gotta do, but damn, the login. Somebody don't got eight dollars in here. I'm sure his shit not logging in. He like draw off faded, but this shit. Better hop on music. Oh, I'm like, damn. So you do that shit off Apple Music? I'm sure you. Yeah, sure. I'm sure. I'm dead. Yeah, you better. I was going on YouTube. Type in DJ nephew Chicago drill mix. Oh, and then play my mix. You know, so or for the women. DJ nephew BBA mix mm-hmm. bad bitches association. You want that twerking music? You want to turn up with your girlfriends? You don't mm-hmm. you don't trust somebody on the ox? Play that. That's gonna get you straight for 30, 45 minutes. You mm-hmm. know, don't need to be. You know what I'm saying? Save yourself from that that bad DJ shit. Do you do you listen to music outside of you know what I'm saying the the popular genres like uh, yeah I listen to all type of shit of that you would never think I listen to yeah I listen to shit you wouldn't even think I listen to or you wouldn't even know who showed me or for why I found some shit it's not, it might not be in my daily rotation but I have knowledge of a lot of songs that's the that's the best way to put it I'm sure for yeah sure. yeah I'm the same way do you do you like uh the frequent like the lot like with the lot of Palooza coming up you know what I'm saying do you you ever find yourself in those events? You know what I'm saying? You ever... I have done festivals, not as big as La La, but shit. No, I'm just saying as a fan. You know what I'm saying? Just as a oh, nah, I ain't really, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, my little introverted ass. I ain't into like festivals and, unless it's free. I got some free yeah. tickets from cool. I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna waste it. But nah, I ain't gonna bap. I, I ain't never been the type to go to concerts and yeah, everything I ever been to was free. Like yeah. or like they just got me up in there. But yeah, I don't really be into like. Sometimes I be thinking my folks gotta do that shit just to experience. Like it be hard yeah, for me to like you, go other places, and I go other places. Like, oh yeah, you from Chicago? I'm like, yeah, they be like, there you been a lot of loose? Like, I'm like damn. Nope. <laughs> then they like, ah, oh, they act like you lame now. Like you ain't from now no more because you ain't been a lot of loose. Oh sure. <laughs> but I know. I bet, I think depending on the lineup, I, I'm gonna go one year because. Bay mom looked at that shit. I think that she said the tickets were like three, four hundred dollars. I'm sure. Yeah, and then you Depending got you on the lineup, you got us boosters, so we selling this shit a little cheaper. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know. Or you can just go right up people. there with the with the crowds. When you ever seen them, how they rush? The how they bum rush? Jump on the yeah. You better hey, sure. tuck your bag. I'm sure it was one they did that shit when everybody got through stuff for this motherfucker. He had like he was like either had like a fake leg or he was in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that is shit. You supposed to have your people really yeah, push you. He could catch, they could catch, so they caught his. <laughs> That's not a mission you was able to uh, successfully accomplish on your own. Oh, sure. Fast, oh, sure. try again. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, uh, when, 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 when you ever, when, you, when you moving around the city, man, do you ever like, you know, what I'm saying, do you like worry about your your safety, like moving around the city? Yeah, I ha- I'm concerned for it. I don't, I don't worry to where I don't want to pop outside or it's, I'm paranoid. But yeah, like it's when you see it. like shit on the news, like a motherfucker was out the out playing John Wick with two guns, and shooting all sixty four shots in ten seconds. Like, do you shit crazy? That on, I ain't gonna lie. Do it like I get your question now. Do it like, like wake me up a little. Do I be like, yeah. damn? Like, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Now I'm kind of numb to that shit. That shit sad, but now nah, like, do you look at your shit. shit like, man? Let me go upgrade it. <laughs> We say that no, no, no. Nah, I ain't gonna rap. When it comes to that artillery, I'm straight. But no, uh, oh, I'm sure. No, that shit crazy. I've never felt that before. Like, damn, it's getting wicked out here. I felt that shit, shorty, because my little shorty's got exotic shit, shorty. I don't know for it's it. Maybe it's because I'm shorty, so it don't like fade. But I'm like one of the least bad niggas I know, so it's like. I'm sure. Yeah, I know bad niggas, shorty. Allegedly. I like being around bad. I ain't go bout because it's like me, my other yeah, personality. I, me too, because you know what I'm saying. That's my family. You know what I'm saying. But I just be mm. thinking, it's 
other shorties like this that ain't my shorties. That's and, what I'm And it's true, though. I'm sure. It's true. That is true. So it's like, you know what She saying? don't know what was right. going on in their cranium. That's right. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Was, and that's what make... It make me want to step my game up. You know what I'm saying? That's Type true. Shit, I'm sure. They get up and on you. He got three beams, a motherfucking sure. banana clip, and a motherfucking Call of Duty uh, thermal scope. Yeah, you over. And that shit, <laughs> you over with. And that shit still wild, wild west. Look at the draw, shorty. Motherfuckers. Hey, it's we a- had quick draw competitions, but we ain't level let it the shit soft. And so oh, that's sure. what's like we. I, I ain't gonna lie. I know some niggas who will pull that bitch out before you can even fucking shorty. fart. Like that shit go like they. It's these niggas. I just watched this story. A that's what matters. A motorcycle clipped somebody car mirror. He clipped the mirror on his motorcycle. Right. They got oh. road rage. They pull over to the lot. Quick draw McGraw. Boom. boom, boom, boom. They kill each other. Cause this niggas who, when they draw that shit, they they don't even up it. They don't have. They could just just right from the hip. And this niggas who shoot through clothes, right, well, through bag. Yeah, come on, that's niggas that don't even, Somebody always a step ahead of you. Some ass. niggas only got their shit loaded on sure. Already, mm-hmm. yeah. You, so you trying to? They put a hole in their sweater to cook, to cook you before you could cook. Sure. Yeah, fuck yeah. I don't get no wild But then what made it worse, so they smoke each other. I'm sure they smoke each other. Ah. And what make it even worse, the buddy got a two year old and a five year old in the car. So he ain't he ain't, he ain't making, huh? Ain't none of the ass making, I'm sure. That shit, some shit don't be a motherfucker sl- motherfucker hit my mirror, bro. I'm sure. Of it's some shit. Some people don't think. See, some, some people be underestimate worse. people. I ain't gonna lie. Like you said, like you was asking, I don't be <sighs> I just assume everybody just as dangerous as me, but it doesn't like scare me because I know it matters at the end of the day. Right. That's why I said I'm dangerous, nigga. But if you if I don't know you and you clip my mirror, bro, as long as you don't put no beam in my face, I'm be like that getting out the car I'm shit. Cool, bro. I'm sure. Yeah, they're getting out the car shit. It's like yes, I ain't got none but liability on this motherfucker. I don't know who fought it was, bro. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker still on here going about your business, bro. I'm sure. Just gotta be careful who you play with, who you tweet with. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't know. Shit get wicked out here, like I said. Yeah, shit get wicked. A lot of shit don't be worth it, sure. Like, I was just talking to my last guest on my interview, sure. Like, I'm in a position out west well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got, like, I'm able to talk to people who really involved in certain aspects of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I really want to get, like, on, on some Jake Main shit, shorty. Like, I feel like if it ain't whoever don't got bloodshed between their situation, shorty, that shit need to be squashed, shorty. I'm sure. Yeah, if you don't got no bloodshed, yeah, y'all got to talk it out. If it's just some up over women or hating or like... Over. So, motherfucker just came to me today, you know what I'm saying, with a with a social media post. I'm sure. Like, he made a post and shorty them pulled up over a post, shorty. Yeah, I was like, it depending on what you said, yeah. But Damn. it's like, but it's like, but the way they was pulling up, shorty, is they, they was pulling up, they weren't pulling up to talk, shorty. So it's like, shit don't be worth it like that, shorty. A motherfucker sharing their opinion online shouldn't cause nobody to pull up in their neighborhood looking for them, shorty. Like, you should be able to share your opinion online. You should be able to, like, you should be able to say, you should be able to say whatever. Face. Mm, shorty. Wow. You should be like, I feel like, I feel like DJ Nephew or Goofy. You should be able to say that. Yeah, I ain't gonna put up on you for saying and, that. And not, I, I wouldn't be even mad if you if you still on a motherfucker, but you shouldn't be wanna kill a motherfucker for saying you a goofy type. That's just no type of like self control. Like I ain't gonna lie, when motherfuckers <laughs> talk shit to me, I like to have fun. Oh, I'm like, yeah, that's what you. That, that make a motherfucker like you believe that shit now. Like, oh, damn. I like to try. I like to be like, yeah, so so yeah. But you like, you know what I'm saying? I like, I ain't gonna lie. I like a little conversation because this all like entertainment to me, like. Can't no words. Can't nobody. You know who my mama is. Mm-hmm. Can't nothing. You tell yeah, me hurt me. Sure, yeah. I, don't even, I don't even get that. I don't even get that far with people. Sure. So if I get to talk shit back to you, this shit is really entertaining. Sure, I don't even get that. As long as shit don't get physical, I don't give a fuck about nothing, shorty. I got shit, shit to do later. I got kids and shit. Talk sure. fast be fun. I talk shit be fun. All type of shit, man. I'm sure. So, so let me ask you this, man. It's, it's a lot of stuff going around now, mm-hmm. like with like the the hands TV and, and the fighting online. Is that something you would participate in to get like your yeah, your anger across the shit show, the shit show. I like I like that type of shit. I like them platforms. I like that. Um, yeah, let them fight it out. A lot of motherfuckers can't fight, but like, yeah, at least give them a chance. But yeah, a lot of motherfuckers be like, and then they get tired. Like, I'm telling you, that shit be showing me who like real, like real deal, yeah, the like last motherfucker active motherfuckers, because a lot of niggas stamina is like. Pfft. 
sure. And it's like, she yeah. Shit like that on hey, it's okay though, but you work. You, you went on the wars behind this I'm shit. Sure. Yeah, these niggas not doing winning shit, doing shit. And these niggas is not in the shape to, to get down if they really got to get down. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about fighting the shit. You might just have to run from the police and you can't run from the police. Like, sure. Come on, now. And you talking about all this shit like. But I'm going to I'm gonna tell you why my twist. last one, I didn't even need no stamina, shorty. My last fight was with an old nigga, shorty. So he wasn't going to know anyway. It's he all about decision. Old, he was an old nigga. I thought this nigga was like a professional boxer or some shit. The way how tough you was, I get into a nigga at work, shorty. Uh-oh. <laughs> I get into a nigga at work, <clears throat> an old nigga, shorty. Like old enough to be my daddy. The nigga tell me, he tell me like, yeah, when you leave, I leave. I'm like, well, we can leave right now. I'm woofing though. What? I'm woofing. He said, come on. I'm sure. I'm like, right, come on. We go to AutoZone. We get to AutoZone. I'm still thinking we finna talk it out. He's like, yeah, young man, I want to know that. Talking about young man. Because I was disrespecting him. I'm like, you bitch ass nigga in front of everybody and shit. So I'm thinking we still finna. Shorty, as soon as I get out the car, walk behind AutoZone, he's still on me, shorty. He's, man, I grabbed the man by his collar, get the big them shorty. The man fall on the ground, glass fall off. Now he on the ground like this. <laughs> so, so. Like a chameleon, move oh, fast. So, so now I just, I just, I just look like a saying? turtle on his back. I, I, I <laughs> stall him out, Debo. Stall him out. I, I pull up on shorty. He get up stumbling and shit, shorty. He still trying to, but he can't keep his balance. I'm like, shorty, just go and get in your car. Yeah, cause he yeah, I I respect you for that. Oh, sure. A lot of niggas that could get fucked up, for real, like sure, blacked out. Fucked him up, shorty. Like you wake up in a coma, you not gonna wake up till next week. I could have fucked him up. I respect fair fighters. I'm sure that that yeah, I already got you. But the how tough he was, shorty. I'm like shorty. He even he either got a background in fighting, shorty, or he finna pop me, shorty. Yeah, I don't know. But short, as soon as I start putting a fist in it, that boy folded up like wet sheets, boy. Oh, <laughs> he talking like wet sheets. I'm short, I'm, what the fuck? I could not believe that shit, short. I'm like, now you got me on beating your old ass. I ain't not a man. He so we talking about lame opponents. The man ain't been to work since. We talking about lame opponents. But I still respected that shit, short, because I got into a nigga at work before. He like, yeah, look, we gonna meet at the Force Reserve. I'm like, I bet, short. Before the motherfucking bell ring, he pulled me to lunch. I'm like, yeah, look, bro, I ain't know that. <laughs> he just want to see if he was going like I want to meet up. As soon as you say yeah, he think for the next three hours he like oh damn. What's even I'm funny? thinking he gonna apologize before I do. What's even funny <laughs> about that situation? He was a white dude. On shorty, I had a white dude. Right, I know he came to you. I, I know he came to you sincerely. Was like, yeah, hey, he look, made man. the proposition and everything because I'm calling so at work. You know, at my job, it's like, if a motherfucker don't hear you say it, it ain't happen. So I'll be at work like, you bitch ass nigga, you hoe ass nigga. I'll be treating motherfuckers so he, <laughs> look at me at the force of I'm come on, fuck you talking about? He was like, look, man, look, I'm, I let my emotions right. get the best of exactly. me. I apologize for that, for that <laughs> unruly behavior back there. If you, if we could cancel our appointment for the ass whooping later, <laughs> oh, that would be greatly appreciated because yeah. I, that that wasn't me back there, hit ass. <laughs> That's not you, you, love, you ever had to get physical with somebody at work, Sean? I don't be working too much of jobs to like have fight, like to fight at work. I ain't never fought at work. My first fight ever, though, like I was like six. Damn, that's damn. Crack. I hope y'all don't hear that through the audio book. Damn, that's it. I don't even know if the audio yeah. blocker can block that. What's it called? Uh, shit, now nah, that's that's what it was like when I hit the nigga. My first fight ever was at church. Oh, right, there you go. <laughs> So that's what it's it was at church yeah so i was five i was holy six. yeah i was six i hit him on a plate this was back when your mama jokes was popular oh yeah and he said i, I couldn't take it. he said your mama so fat joke i ain't gonna lie yeah. i couldn't take the same I shit i was dishing back then i didn't take i didn't take jokes neither though because i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't roast i couldn't <laughs> roast I, so i'd be like you can talk about me, but just know, just be ready for Just be after, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it I'm took sorry. me a minute. I'm the oldest, so yeah. Well, it's like, if you wanted to gas, you can get your little rocks off and shit, but anybody else, like any other nigga, like the funny nigga in the my school. My friends knew better not, than you, to, you. not to roast me. Like, they didn't, like, my closest friends as a kid, kid, like, they didn't roast me back then. I ain't gonna bat. Like, they just didn't try me in that type of... That shit a part of the game, man. Where I'm come from, sure. See, that shit a part of the game. I thought it was too, but then I like made it through most of my childhood. I'm like, damn, I be saying the least and be getting 
it's, roasted the less. To this day, it's to this day. Like to this day, if my gas on here on shorty. My fuckers getting they getting roasted. I ain't gonna lie, my dog. He do. He 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 has been roasting more than I ever been roasting in my life. Oh shorty, like time. Like I'm like, why the fuck you feel this oh, comfortable? Sure. Talking I like thought this. I thought them bitches at you on shorty, yeah, but just, but that's just my way of showing up because I don't like fuck with niggas on shorty. So if I like I do some shit like that on shorty, it's like I fuck with niggas. Like even I was telling somebody like you know what I'm saying like. Like about that living dangerous shit. Like I don't play. I'm not. I, I'm not finna fight nobody unless, like, it's my brother on short. I'm not fight nobody, boy. On short. I, I ain't gonna lie. Nobody. You got going on. So I ain't fought in a minute. Like besides basketball, I fight on a basketball court all the time because niggas not not play, hooping with their pipes do, in their pockets. Do y'all be fighting? Or y'all be NBA? No, I fight. Like I fight when you I NBA yeah. fight or do y'all be? No, I court? fight, but I have been stopped more times than I would have liked to. In certain locations, but at other like, there's just certain locations to where it's like I know what I'm walking into, and there's other locations to where like I feel like like niggas there intentionally try to take it there, but they won't never let it happen. So it's like an NBA fight. Yeah. So that shit don't be putting like a bad, you know what I'm saying? Like a bad motherfuckers gonna be like, oh never, you can't come back here no more. Oh, Ain't nobody ever told me that because I be I be whooping at like the gym. The See, thing I, about basketball, everybody ass involved. Yeah, so. the thing about basketball, is, like I'm good. Like I'm not just like one of those like OC motherfuckers who just there talking shit. And I'm not good. Like I'm good. So you can't you can't tell me I can't come. No, I'm better than is you. That an open challenge. Should we have an old open challenge for the Woo Walter Bam show and get it started? Yeah, we could just like, and ain't no disrespect to nobody I don't so, know. So we're gonna do an open it. challenge, one on one contest, one on one, one on one challenge, fifty dollar prize. Yeah, start small. Niggas act. See, the one thing I hate is niggas act like they only play for like bands. Niggas no, don't act like they. I'm like, damn, what are niggas who play I, for I feel like hundred dollars? They people don't do that shit. You know, like motherfucker coming to dice game don't got and they the really don't want to shoot. And motherfucker be shooting fast, like oh, if y'all ain't shooting hundreds, I ain't shooting. Yeah, they like I like what the fuck happened to five dollars? Like yeah, it was ten dollar twenty. Like, like motherfuckers just do that shit because they know motherfuckers ain't finna shoot hundreds. Bro, that shit they blows me. I'm like, stop it. Like, come on, bro. Like, mom, you know, you know, motherfuckers ain't finna play no three on three. Motherfuckers I ain't never met before for a thousand dollars. Nah, like come on, fo. Everybody put ten in. I'm cool. I just earned some lunch money. Like, come on, bro. Like, stop. Everybody act like they only play for big amounts that they ain't never even played for before. So stop. Don't. Don't start with that with me, nigga. I ain't nah, never played one. I think on that's one. a good idea. We're gonna have we're gonna have a walk the bend yeah, do that basketball that. tournament, shorty. Yeah, just make it spicy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to see the talent. Plus, it's the platform, so come out here, shine. If you feel like you got it for the, you know, got show it then. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do the same thing. Either way, it's gonna be good basketball, or whatever, whatever. Hopefully, just just don't like be in shape. It's gonna be hard for you. Just be in shape. I ain't gonna bother to you. You see me smoking and drinking, but still be in shape. I, <laughs> I take detoxes. A lot of niggas. Don't they they see you smoking and drinking, but what, what being in shape is it? Is it everyday type? Is it a lifestyle? Yeah, it's a lifestyle mm -hmm. for me. Like this morning, I worked out. This evening, I went and played. Got a little cardio. Blah, blah, blah. Like it's a, tomorrow morning. I'm going to work. Yeah, you see me posting a little mm -hmm. workout videos here and now on the net, but I don't really like to show people I'm working. I'm sure, they, they, DJ nephew say y'all see him drinking. Y'all see him smoking. Y'all. I see him on Instagram with the food on shorty, but he burned every calorie off. Just like y'all, I'm a Trish baby too. Think I can't play on the what? On shorty, but you know, you know, Trish baby's out of shape, man. On shorty, Trish babies be out of shape, but they can still, shape, they can still bring their power, like they superpowers out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I, was, I, I always say this thing: like, no shade to the females, man, but like. After high school, females don't run ever again unless that unless that, I ain't gonna they got that, that lifestyle. No more track practice. Or unless it's gunshots on shore. Ain't no more. Ain't no like more. They aren't really in that hefty, he healthy lifestyle. They ain't running no more after high school. A lot of these women be getting chunkier after high school. Yeah, but no, high school. No, no diss to the women, but this uncut, uncensored, unfiltered, but y'all be letting yourself go out to high school. Just work out a little bit. Just yeah, a I home regimen. I myself go too, but. Just a home regimen. Just a little home <laughs> regimen. Like, y'all, like, you just tone up the shape. I ain't saying BBL time. I'm just saying tone up the shape. Get, like, there's some women I done seen in high school. You was slim thick. Now, you got a little, you got a little lean gut. Like, whoa. And then you still think you thick. Now, you just got some more rolls on you. Yeah, but foompas go crazy. Yeah, that foompa. <laughs> sure. I hate a fat girl that thinks she thick, boy. I, just like, girl, yo, I don't even hear you. You around me acting like that for a sure. No, it's, it's just that syndrome or something. Sure, I'll be ignoring the fuck out there. Yeah. I like self-confidence, though. 
Sure. <laughs> but that that showed me that self confidence. They be having they self confidence amazing. Some shit is too much. Like I got a big my sister big, way. Though. My sister big, and I know her self confidence crazy. Cause like I said, like how you said like about the roasting. Like where I come from, shorty, roasting is a part. Even that should begin in the household, shorty. On well, sure that shit can't go back. Yeah, that shit started in the household. Oh, yeah, from your mama said, "Boy, your big head ass." On sure, on sure, your mama, your mama say, "Your mama." On sure, you be thinking like, "What? That's your mama type shit." <laughs> Oh, for right, like oh, sure. that's where that shit starts. So it's like my sister, she big and she heavy set, but like niggas, you can't no fat joke fellas at this point. On sure, yeah, that's what I said. Like it's hard to hurt my feelings. Like, I ain't gonna. I'll talk back with you because I'm thinking you. Oh, she didn't hurt I'm fat joke so many times. Yeah, my brothers and sister, so motherfucker on the street. We just thinking you bored or something, talking shit to a motherfucker you don't really know for. Well, that's why I say like it's probably I don't know. That's probably. I wonder how that shit is like around the world, like in, in normal culture, like is it normal to come up like that? I'm sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> but but how much how much is you know what I'm saying? Do you do you involve like your your Ghanaian culture with your American culture? Like I know you you stay in touch. You was just at the festival talking about that. Yeah shit. yeah, that shit was cool. That shit was cool. Ghana I'm festival. Sure. What that shit was at? Motherfucker, give me no invite. Well, I should take part. Nah, I, I pulled up at the end of the. You know, I ain't even like they was out there all day. I ain't pull up till like seven eight o'clock. I saw Cuzo. Cuzo was out there too, right? I'm sure. I Cuzo was out there too. I, I linked up with Cuzo. Cuzo, <laughs> Cuzo passed out. Yeah, yeah it was one of them. Passed out. Oh uh, yeah, you should have. We was there to save for those. So Cuzzo, don't be mad at me when you see this. But nah, <laughs> Cuzzo passed out. For I had to, she started to stress me out. I had to light a blunt for her. I had to take outside and get fresh air. I'm like, man, I'm I'm, all, I'm outside on 50 feet smoking, watching her on the bench, getting her her brain. Yeah, it, she was it was fun though. Yeah, Ghana Fest was cool. Uh, it was it was nice. I think uh one of my Family members had like an art exhibit out, but I would I didn't make it in the daytime to see it. But Man, yeah. I saw motherfuckers on stage going crazy. It was you know cool. It was I cool. It was on the ground surfing out the meals and shit on shore. Yeah, like, it was cool. But yeah, how much do I incorporate Ghana? I ain't gonna lie. Like I I know why I'm just woke. Like I know where I came from. I know my blood. I know my heritage. I understand my 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 family lineage and um you know how they operate and shit like that. But uh, and I respect it, you know what I'm saying. I got I got it tatted on me as far as my respect for my country. Mm -hmm. Um, but I still live in my own flavor, so you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm shit. I was born here in Iraq, so it's just like yeah, I ain't. I'm you know I'm more American than Ghanaian for shit show. But that's you can't I'm take it out my blood. Yeah, it's my blood. It's it, I, I'm that. I'm from the motherland for real, first generation. But nah, I still I fit in with, with you know everything that go on here. So that's just how it is. Yeah, I was just watching China Mac was just online debating with the Israelites. The Israelites told his ass like yo ass. He, they told his ass you a guest in rap. <laughs> Man, I'm saying. They like it, man. <laughs> Damn, the ways I it'd be funny to see motherfuckers get disrespected. I ain't gonna lie. That's a nigga that don't get disrespected too often. It'd be I'm like, damn, you let that happen? Oh sure. Why they feel like they can yeah. just comfortably say that to you. And that's that's my problem, Shorty, cause cause now that I do like this podcast and shit, I'll like be at these events, Shorty, and I'll just be thinking like they be like having their little shit going on because like in yeah. every and every we see a lot behind clicks and shit. We know? see, yeah, we see a lot behind the scenes. And I'm just letting everybody know this is uncutting instance or anybody ever play any other podcast I ever play with me. If we any any situation where I can smack you, I'm gonna smack you on shorty. I'm not playing on shorty. I ain't got no sense in real life on shorty. So <laughs> I don't even play like that. This shit is a game to me. Like I made it through the worst already. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even I don't even play like that. This shit a game to me. So ain't no competition. Anything you see come from this platform is the best. We is the best. You know what I'm saying? The best. The best show, best podcast, all that shit. Yeah, I didn't want his shit. He can talk his shit. Nah, oh, there, sure. your, there your trophy go right there. Don't make me get up and grab that. That's light. We finna get more. I know it's we light. More shelves up so you can put some more, more, for, more for trophies up. I'm sure. Yeah, that though. So, so let's let's try to get some debate topics before we wrap this up, man. So whoa, whoa, whoa. this is the first time they got me on the couch, man. So I don't know what you, LeBron or Mike, yo. LeBron or Mike? Let me ask you, LeBron or Mike? LeBron, fuck you talking about? Why LeBron? Why LeBron? You talking both? The body of work. 
The body of work. So what you fuck with about LeBron? He he got forty thousand points. He won the game. What man. you what do you hey, fuck with about LeBron? What do I fuck with? Like what do you be what like? Well like, would you what's your, what argument you pushing about LeBron? Like what I'm pushing about the strengths, like yeah. So my favorite player personally of all time is Kobe. That's my personal favorite. Because that's Kobe. my mic. When I grew up watching basketball, the best player of all time took those shots. was Kobe. He was the one hitting the buzzer beaters. He was the one winning the dunk yeah. contest. It was Kobe. He was the one. That's the niggas going take, off every night, 30 plus. Taking uh, 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 Brandy on prom on Shorty. That was my crush. He took my crush on prom. <laughs> he definitely Shorty. too did. Shorty. So he was my goat on Shorty, but like, Body of work, you know what I'm saying? 40,000 points, shorty. By the time you report, retire, he's going to be leading in damn near every category, stats, good and bad, shorty. It's like a lot of 20 years for a motherfucker to come on, like, bro, and be healthy. That's the thing. You got to stay healthy. And be not even if you is healthy, the way low management taking over, even if you is healthy, motherfucker's going to be sitting you down just because, just you because, gotta, yeah. You got to show them early, like, yeah, I'm that. I need the minutes. Like, like Giannis, to me, Giannis, the only nigga that's giving that type of, yeah, like, LeBron. Like, okay. like, Giannis show he love the game. He really want to get better. He, he, he's sacrificing time by, like, mm -hmm. he's not, I don't, I don't, I don't they not the same. Yeah, I can see him. If anybody getting close, I can see that. that's in the league right now. I can see Giannis. He can Giannis be. striving for better. That nigga yeah, for sure. like forever when I fuck with his energy. That's that third world, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shit, he from he from overseas. Yeah. But bro, his brother, boy. Which one? The goof? Y'all talk about Bronny nepotism. That's nepotism like a motherfucker, boy. His ass. You talking about the one that was playing on the Bucks with him? What? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I never seen a low light film or highlight. I was gonna ask you if you seen that. Sure. I saw the low light one, bro. I ain't. I'm like, what the fuck? They saw the fake these. You gotta be terrible, <laughs> man. Oh wow, damn! If that ain't nepotism, boy, on shorty. But I actually seen his his FIBA highlights. They way better. They way better than the NBA. Yeah, but like, niggas play. I'm telling you, niggas play different for their country. It's a, it's a, it's a different style of battle. You gotta remember, it's a whole new team. Mm -hmm. So they they are able to exercise. And, and play to their strengths a certain way that, yeah, you on the NBA team, NBA is politics. You can't forget that yeah, shit. They tell you, there's all type of killers that I played against in high school that's in the NBA. They don't get to play that game. Yeah, they be talking about that on Gil Arena. Yeah, sure. they be telling them, like, yeah, you and have to Where you get drafted and who you get drafted to, you could be raw as hell. They, yeah. they, they always say that about Michael Beasley. Like, they be like, Michael Beasley in real life. That's what, I -O, that's what I O told me. I on the Bulls because he just, came up out here. They he 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 told my dogs what they be telling them. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, when you get in, there, you have to pass to such. Like, damn. <laughs> like, yeah, that's just that shit a little scripted. Came back. So so Michael LeBron. Hey, Bron, bro. He I seen Bron in my life. I ain't seen Mike. For real, but to me, Mike seemed like he was wow. Like that nigga a pioneer. I'm spending pioneers. I like, I like, I'll take Mike. I ain't gonna bow. I, I, I fuck with pioneers. Yeah. I mean, but Brown a pioneer in his own right, too. He is, too, but I fuck with like, I like Michael's in style. I, I wear Jordans. So I don't really wear <laughs> Browns. In, in 10, 15 years, shorty, it's gonna be normal for motherfuckers to play. 30 years, 20 years. Maybe I gotta see it. Spending a million dollars on their body. And then, uh, then. Giannis. Giannis gonna play the same amount of years as LeBron. Okay, when the time come, when I'm older, I'm gonna be more to a Bron there. That's just how sure. it's gonna work. But the I gotta see it to believe. The only thing I say is Mike definitely was cutthroat on Shorty. Six or six. That's what I like. I like that killer shit. That's, that. That's cutthroat. You know, I like that killer shit. LeBron to me, his own like his main killer like era was like when he f first got traded to the Heat. Like mm. that nigga was also shit. They was talking shit about him for two like all type of shit. Like he used to show out like for real but mm -hmm. i like mike for that killer instinct shit I ain't gonna and then i don't know bron that took down some giants too though man bron definitely has he yeah. just took down some giants like it's cool to see his the, the level of competition i said the level of competition might be a little higher than mike played joe bron ain't no joke i'm sure like bron mike ain't had one going against kd and, and steph and and he did it and mellow and i'll be getting whatever he want I ain't gonna but i ain't no in the boston man. celtics and Shaq and Wade and, and Kobe and Kazal. We really see Bron take down trios. We talking about he done took down LA Clippers when they was going crazy. CP3, Blake, all of them. He took down Steph Curry and them and Golden State. He took you feel down. like I feel, you feel like they should have got one? Who? 
that 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 Lob City team. Clippers should I would like Clippers should have been had championships. Like my whole life, they should have been had all that. something in one area. That Lob hey, City team bro, had a chance. The Lob City team was definitely that was the first like modern day chance I remember them having of like actually winning the chip. After that, they done had great moves. You had Harden on your team. You had Kawhi. You had PG. We you got like they actually they always a playoff contender team, but they just can't. So I'm going to tell you something. This might be a hot take, but Kawhi, Kawhi ain't one of them niggas. So. To me, when he play, he raw. But I don't know what the fuck going on. He was, he was a part. He was a part of one of the greatest systems of all time, in San Antonio. I'm telling you, pop. No, I'm saying surrounded pop, by pop, pop, all the famous everywhere you look. Then you go to Toronto and you just get the luck of the Irish when the whole Warriors team is injured. Shorty. You ain't got no KD. No, I think it was no, it was no cliff or no stay. No, <laughs> <laughs> no stay or no cliff. <laughs> no cliff, no, no stay. It, it was only one of them. So I won't say it was no stuff, shorty. But that shit basically fell in his lap, shorty. He not. It's, nah, I, Kawhi, I, I think, ain't go about. It's, it's, it's these many players that I'll take before I take a while, shorty. That's cool. But I, I think Kawhi you know, got his shine cool. from, yeah, for sure. So. But I say, like to me, he raw now. Like he developed. I'm talking about modern day, like Clippers when they had quite. Like they could have been had us because he's developed on the on the Spurs. He was basically the only to me. The Spurs is an old school team. You know how they pass, pass, pass. So he was that one young nigga mm-hmm. in the he midst the of the piece. fundamental. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. so that would that he could get his rocks mm-hmm. off. So that's yeah. why I fuck with him. That's what that Lob City team was missing. Even though they had Jamal Crawford, they ain't had like a go to go to twenty time. player like on any given night. Yeah. On sure, it was too much of a system. On sure, so so I, I I definitely I definitely feel you on that. What about um? Do do you do like the the sports betting? Nah, I ain't never touched that. Ain't oh yeah, you should too. I ain't gonna. I don't that, feel that's your way. Like seven, gambling, man. I don't do casinos. Like it's just something about digital betting. I, I used to say that shit too, shorty. <laughs> but when you when you look at that shit, and I know you look at shorty, I know your IQ out of this world. When you just see the type of shit they throwing at you, shorty. Yeah. They gonna be like they saying, "Hey, right, I should." Joel and B ten rebounds over or under against the Pacers. Nigga, what over? Who exactly. Pacers got nothing but my exactly. turn. Exactly on shorty, and then you could just build best like that. You could build that shit up, just build it up on shorty. You gonna, I should touch on that shit easy. I gotta try. I gotta play around with somebody else who got who got it, and then just anybody with sports IQ. Well, yeah, so. Somebody yeah, else who got it and then bet, gonna listen bet. to me. When the season starts, I'm gonna show you. You gonna you, you can give me tips and we can do it on my shit and then you gonna see how easy that shit is. Oh my getting free. You gonna be like <laughs> you gonna be like, let me set my own shit up, shorty. Cause yeah, that shit. Cause it's fine, yeah. I just gotta see it for me to believe it. First. But yeah, when you got that IQ, that shit on shorty. That shit easy. Hell yeah. That shit just common sense. <laughs> Well, uh, football season coming up. You fuck with you fucking with the the Bears got like a whole new. They they supposed to be they supposed to be raw at least on offense. On we show. still we gonna check them out per usual, but until the, the wins pick, come through, shorty. man. Until the wins come through, I ain't excited about. You that. ever been to a Bears game? When I was a shorty, yeah, I ain't been to none of the modern day though. Man. Yeah, I ain't been on the modern day neither. I'm sure. Yeah, my all my opportunities that arose had always been too cold, and I always turned that shit down. Man, sure. I don't want to be out there in the snow. I'm sure, I'm not watching no Bears game at 30 degrees. I'm sure yeah, you gonna have to get a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate going for 20 bucks in that bitch. Hot chocolate, <laughs> great. I'm sure that shit going for 20 bucks just to stay warm there. <laughs> Hell no, nah, oh cool. I'm sure you seen that deal pulling over me? No, I'm finna. You know me. I'm finna see if they got it on my little site. I'm sure that shit, that shit was decent. I'm finna see they got bad boys on my little site. I'm like, yes, yeah, it's, it's been a month now, so yeah, it should I be on that 4K. I still, I still ain't seen. You got bad some boys catching up to do. I got now. Nah, I'm, I'm for four. I'm I got one and two on, on Blu-ray. That shit classic. I fuck with that. Go snag this Domino's and go watch these bad boys. Hopefully, it should be on 4K now. I shouldn't have no watermarks or logos in the middle of the screen. Yeah, I ain't even watching it if it got that short. I don't fuck with that. Shit. I like to watch my shit 4K, like in the most. Yeah, clear, that's what my sites. That's what my sites be having. It's clear, they be having everything. Clear. On short. Yeah, they be having everything. But I don't watch no movies or no TV at home. On short. I do I ain't gonna lock it. I like these shows, but I'll be watching them too fast. Like. I don't watch no TV. I hate when a show I I hate when it's like I watch a show and then I do get in I do like that shit, but it's like season one over and then you gotta wait for season two, even if they ever gonna... make a season two see, type shit. I see what you're saying. I like I like watching shows late, like after it's already like they done made 
you know what I'm saying, all the seasons. But then I feel like I'll be too far back to catch up then. And I don't so be like, talking about that shit. Like, 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 it's like Walking Dead now, shorty. They got yeah, like, it's all type of episodes. So I could just binge watch it. Yeah. That's what I spin That's what I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Empire. Remember when Empire came out, everybody was talking about Cookie, Luscious, all the other shit. I didn't watch Empire because I don't know. I got to... And I still haven't, but like, like you gotta go on Google just to learn on which order you supposed to watch all this shit in. I'm sure. I know right, that's just how Walking Dead set up and probably like Game of Thrones and like them complex Game of Thrones complex ass shows with boys. different sequels and books sure. and shit. Like Power, Power got books and shit, so that's probably confusing. Right. Even Power, like if you just start pick up there and never watch Power, you gotta make sure you, gotta, you watch yeah, the first yeah. one first. Like you can't just start watching. But every show ain't like that. Every, Tommy shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Every show ain't like that though. You know what I'm saying? They be having some simple shows. It's, it's just two seasons. Boom, bang. Since That's you it. do watch TV, what's, what's the best show that you watching right now? Mm, right now, I don't watch them all. I'm, I'm, I need like recommendations. So, but so like, what's the best show? What's the best that I have seen that you watch recently? Behind her eyes, I think that shit crazy. What's That's that like about? some mind fuck shit. So basically, man, for this shit, mind fucking like. It was about this lady. She basically transferred spirits with a human being, like with another lady. And she was like a black lady within a white lady body or something like that. And she killed her husband, who was like a therapist because he was giving too much attention to like a, a, a one of his clients. Like it was some crazy Damn, shit. You watch this on? It's on. Ne- it was on Netflix. Are you saw? So you got me want to watch the devil. Oh, so so like it's slow. I ain't gonna lie, it's slow, but like. The ideas and the, the things that you see in there, yeah. some shit that you would be like, damn, that's like, where this is going. Cool. Like, I like good movies, I feel, even if it's slow. It's, it's good. good. It's you know good. It's good. Like, one of the best movies, are, horror movies of all time. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen it's called horror. Hereditary. I heard about it. That shit, the best. Heard, that's one of those. Yeah, I heard that's one of those. That, that and Conjuring is like one Conjuring. of Conjuring be like. Classic. I got I'm three I got Both of them up there, I'm sure. I love horror films. It's good. Them like the top. And what's so good about them horror films, Shorty, is the situations that happen in the movies is like shit that can happen in like. In real life, life man. You think. Oh. Like, damn, now you it's shivering. Hereditary, in Shorty. Like, you be watching Hereditary and some shit happen. You like, bro, I was never expecting that shit to happen, Shorty. I ain't it's seen like, it yet, so I got to fuck with it. Boy, that shit decent as hell. All the last don't play with the devil, ain't Yeah. No, <laughs> one of them, Lick Shorty. It's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, bro. I don't play with the devil. It's one of them. I respect my culture enough. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. play with the devil. It's one of them. I'm shorty. So I do because I smoke. Nah, I so yeah, time. shorty. I'm gonna send you the link to the uh so to the Cody two times interview I did. He from uh Nigras, Nigeria. Mm. And um, about that, Jerry. he was telling me uh about the voodoo shit on shorty voodoo and hoodoo, and he was like, that's like a big thing, like where he from, like people really be like putting spells on people and shit. And he had a girl try to put a spell on me once. Say that shit work like for real on shorty. Yeah, like, can if they apply it right, but I've had a girl try to put a spell on me once. <laughs> she told me too, like down the line, like a year later. What? Yeah, crazy. <laughs> so how though? You ain't never gonna try to do it again, bitch. <laughs> Nah, I mean, we started hanging when she told me. Right, and we ain't gonna hang forever, bitch. I'm she told me. <laughs> that shit, wow. So it's real. That shit can't be real. I haven't been possessed by none. No spell nobody put. But I had heard like a lot of the, the horror, American horror movies, like with the possessions and like the the voodoo and shit is like based off like real shit that like happened in Africa type shit. It might. It probably could be. But like Africa, it's worse. Like it's cut though. Like it's, it's all type of shit. Like. It's, it's, some, it's some real dark realm type of activity that go on. You wouldn't even think it's possible. Like, you know, mm. I ain't gonna lie. It, it get <laughs> it get like that. Like, you gotta remember, America, to me, American culture and, and his, it's no American history, like, for real. Like, it is, but it's all just colonizing. Like, yeah. the ideas and, and the thing and rituals and shit. It's like shit that they show here that was taken from other places. Like, yeah, like you Yeah, see. for sure. Yeah. Like, even Yeezys. Like, how they saying them Egyptian shoes. Mm-hmm. Like, from things as simple as that to, like, yeah. Yeah, like, what we call Illuminati, but like hoodoo voodoo, yeah. Some spells, like some witchcraft, for real. Like, like you won't be able to sleep some nights. Like, yeah, it can get like that. But no, for sure, man. <laughs> this, this definitely has been another one. This was cool to to get in front of the, in front of, sit on the couch. I've get been on, I've wolf. been in front of the camera. I've, get you I've been, a wop. I've yeah, been on front of the couch, man. We we got some other things in the works, man. We got. We're going to have uh, basketball tournaments coming up. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have 
Different hosts coming through, you know what I'm saying? And the outside yeah, episodes, you know we're going to have questionnaire episodes. Any suggestions, yeah. make sure y'all put so, y'all suggestions in the comments for any topics y'all want to hear us discuss, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm considering, you know what I'm saying, bringing different formats to the show, you know what I'm saying? Some episodes, we might just talk about one subject the whole episode, you know what I'm saying? So uh, just make sure y'all stay locked in. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, hit that bell icon so you get subs- so you get notified every time we drop new content. So before we get up out here, DJ Nephew, let them know where they can find you. Man, low-key man, dot nephew on Instagram. You know what it is. That's where all my mixes is. You trying to turn up. You trying to listen to something. You want some new music. You just tired of going through your music and Spotify or whatever. That's where you go to. Fuck with me. You feel me? And book them. Fuck you talking about. If you yeah, need a DJ for your book event, them. on shorty, your party, for your ladies' lingerie night, on shorty. Yeah, valid. I'm DJ Book Nephew, nephew for that. West yeah. over East. And if you need pictures for your lingerie night. No, I'm just... <laughs> Shit, yeah, if you need pictures, that's the man right here. You need shit. You fuck a picture. You want a video? <laughs> that's the man right here. You, you see know that. that. See this quality? <laughs> this shit glass. You know that. Big shorty. <laughs> So, all right, y'all. Appreciate y'all for coming through on your boy, 290 Mo. Make sure you check out the 290 Mo podcast on YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts. And make sure you book your free interview at www.290mopodcast.com. This has been another episode. Appreciate y'all time in a minute, gang. Boop, boop.